Glory be to God. Once more, we want to thank God very much. It's my privilege to stand before you here at Zone 16 for our Zonal Seminar. Greetings to all our youth pastors. Uh, special thanks to our overseer, uh, provincial overseer, Babenda Maim Serezo, and um, our Zonal Youth Pastor, Babenda Maim Komberanwa. Our God is a very good God. Uh, we want as well to uh, appreciate the presence of all leaders in Zone 16. Uh, I'm going to share the word of God on deliverance. Uh, God has put my heart, uh, deliverance is a broad subject. Uh, those who are interested with definition, you can say deliverance, uh, it is to be helped or to be snatched from danger. That's uh, deliverance. It has a connotation also of salvation, to be saved from danger. God is a very good God. So what the Lord has put on my heart is to share on deliverance of ignorance to knowledge. Deliverance of ignorance to knowledge. Deliverance of ignorance to knowledge. Hosea chapter 4 verse number 6, the Bible says, My people are perishing because of lack of knowledge. My people are perishing, they are losing value. They are under impoverishment because of the lack of knowledge. We see that many people are demon influenced, they are influenced demonically uh, due to lack of knowledge. The Bible also says in the book of Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, the Bible says, verse number 11, the Bible also says that uh, lest the devil take advantage of our ignorance. So ignorance is not good. It will cost our lives. God is a very good God. Turn with me to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse number 5. Casting down imagination and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Casting down. Other versions they say, pulling down. Uh, let's start from verse number 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Verse 5. Casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Now, ladies and gentlemen, deliverance of ignorance to knowledge, it was medically proven that unforgiveness can cause cancer. People need to have that knowledge. It has been medically proven that unforgiveness can also cause cancer. Proverbs chapter 23, verse number 7, I'll paraphrase. The Bible says... As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. When I read that verse and understand what it means, then God put this message on me. Deliverance from ignorance to knowledge. We have to know. If the mind is not delivered, the whole system of the human anatomy is under the siege, is under attack, is under demonic influence. Because the Bible says here, from where we have read, uh, the Bible says, uh, pulling down all the strongholds and casting down imagination, imagination that is against the will of God, you have to be casted down. Now here, the Bible says, this verse is true. We need to be serious on what we think because the way we think makes us what we are. The way we think makes us what we are. When I read that verse and I understood that what you think with your mind, it constitutes who you are. It defines who you are. Let's take it from verse number 35, chapter 4 of the book of Mark. Mark chapter 4, verse number 35. We see something here. 
Mark chapter 4, verse number 35. Mark 4, verse 35. Let me read. And the same day when the evening was came to, uh, to lapse, Jesus, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, this is verse number 36, and they took him even as he was in the ship, and there were also with him other little sheep. Verse number 39. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. Peace be still. In other words, you only define your own world by what you are thinking. There was peace in the mind of Jesus Christ. And the, there was also storm, which was encountering the boat in which Jesus was with the disciples. And Jesus said, he rebuked, he woke up and rebuked the storm. And he said, peace, be still. The peace which he spoke against the storm, it was the peace which was in the mind of Jesus Christ. You can redefine the world that you want to be by the peace that is inside you. So it constitutes your mind. Right. It's the storm you are at. And the peace which he commanded. Hallelujah. Let me read again here. On Luke chapter 15 verse number 17. Luke 15 verse number 17. We hear the story about this prodigal son. The Bible says he came to his senses. When you come to your senses. Where the mind goes, the man follows. Where the mind goes, the spirit follows. So I'm sharing to our leaders, you have to be delivered in your mind. It is in the mind where the devil attacks. Man is spirit. He has the soul and he lives in the body. You are spirit, you are not your mind. You live in the body. You have the mind. The mind is the middle part of the human constitution. This is the entrance of demonic attack when you open the door. It is through the mind. The demon come through the mind where there is a will, where there is decision making. Whatever you do through the mind, it constitute, it costs even your spirit. Therefore, you need deliverance. You need to be snatched from that danger. That's why Paul says, we cast out every imagination that exalteth itself. The mind that speak against the salvation, the mind that speak, that causes you, that lures you to do something evil, it, it has to be casted down according to the book of Corinthians. God is a very good God. Where your mind goes, your life will follow. Your mind, when it is thinking, it needs a reference or frames a mindset of the stronghold. What is a stronghold? A stronghold is not a demon, but a stronghold is a demonic house. It is a demonic house. It is a frame where demons manufacture, where demons come from. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lack of knowledge is a small problem. The biggest problem is to unlearn. Lack of knowledge is a small problem. The biggest problem is to unlearn what has become a pattern in your mind. What you have developed into a file in your mind. That is what we need to fight it for us to acquire our deliverance. Point number one that you need to know. Know that the devil was defeated. 2,020 years back, the devil was defeated. Chapter 3, verse number 15 of the book of Genesis. We learn what to call the first gospel, which is displaced in Latin on what we call the Proto-Evangelion. The Bible says, the seed of the woman shall crush the head of the serpent, which means the devil was defeated. We are fighting with the defeated foe. In fact, we don't fight for victory, but we are fighting from victory because he was on the Proto-Evangelion concept on, John chapter, on, on chapter 3 of the book of Genesis, Verse number 15, the devil was already defeated. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 10, verse number 19. Luke 10, verse number 19, I will read this one. Luke 10, verse number 19. Behold, I will give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions 
and over all the power of the enemy. Which means we were given power over all the power of the enemy. Nothing was left for the devil. All the power of the enemy. <laughs> we were given the power over his power. Nothing shall by any means hate you. Nothing shall by any means hate you. These words, over all the power and nothing. People must understand this. You must have knowledge that nothing shall by any means hate you as a believer. If you are in Christ Jesus, you are protected. The Bible says you are protected in him. Nothing shall by any means hate you. The Bible also says in the book of Colossians, chapter 1, Colossians 1, verse number 13, he had delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. We are delivered from the power, from the controller, the devil, from the hands of the devil. We were delivered and translated into the kingdom of his dear son. We have to know all this. Now, the other thing that we need to know for us to attain the permanent uh, deliverance is this. We must not put God and devil on the same plane. We should not put God and devil on the same plane. What you need to, to know is this. God is the creator. Amen? God is the creator. And the devil is a creature. He is far below the creator. So we cannot put God and the enemy devil on the same plan. He was already defeated. And the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse number 6, we are seated with him. He had made us to sit together with him in the heavenly places. We are in the heavenly places. We are far above the devil. We are seated with Christ in the heavenly places. That's our position. We are with him in the heavenly places. So your deliverance is certain. Your deliverance is certain. You are delivered and you need to continue confessing that you are fighting from victory to victory. You are not fighting for victory, but you are fighting from victory to victory. You are delivered some 20,000 years back uh, by Jesus Christ. The Bible also says, Romans chapter 12, verse number 2. I will read Romans 12, verse number 2. Romans chapter 12, verse number 2. Romans chapter 12, verse number 2. Romans 12, verse number 2, the Bible says, And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. Your mind, when you were born again, you received Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Your mind was not saved. The spirit was saved. But the mind, it needs renewal. Your mind needs renewal. Your mind needs to be renewed. And the Bible is saying here, through Romans chapter 12, verse number 2, Be not conformed. Do not be conformed. Do not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So, for you to continue attaining to your deliverance, you need to renew your mind through the word of God. Read the word of God daily. Read the word of God daily. Don't be demon conscious, but know that you are a child of God, you are a victor, and Jesus Christ overcame all these things. Some 20, 20 back years uh, ago, the Lord did victory. The Lord uh, fought for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We need also to, un to exercise our mind. Mind needs to be exercised to think right. Think right. Exercise your mind and think right. You are what you think. You are what you think. You are what you think. Uh, Numbers chapter 13, verse number 33. Numbers 13, verse number 33. We are talking about deliverance from ignorance to knowledge. What we have to know, the devil was defeated. And the other thing that I want you to know is this. The devil is not a fallen warrior, but is a fallen musician. The devil is not a fallen warrior, but he is a fallen musician. Let's read this scripture. Are we there? Numbers chapter 13, verse number 33. Numbers 13, verse number 33. Let me read from... Uh, 
this version. 13 verse 33. 13. 33. And there were so giants and the sons of anarchy, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, so we were in their sight. You see, it was in their mind that they carried a picture of grasshoppers before these people. And they could not possess the land which the Lord has promised them. They could not possess this land which God has promised them. So, ladies and gentlemen, the battlefield is in the mind. The battlefield is in the mind. You need to be free in the mind so much that your spirit is also free. As a man thinketh, so is he. You are what you think. If your mind can constitute, can define who you are, therefore, you need to think right as a leader. You must speak to yourself that I'm blessed. Speak to yourself that I'm born again. Speak to yourself that I am delivered. Though there are some signs and symptoms that the devil is closer to your life, but never speak of the devil than of God. Don't be conscious. Don't be devil conscious than being Jesus conscious. Speak more of your side of the brighter side than the dark side. Speak more of Jesus than the devil. Speak more of overcoming than being, uh, being attacked by the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. He had delivered us from the power of darkness and he translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. We are delivered. That's our motto. We are delivered. Although there are still things that we are fighting in your life, but you must tell yourself, I am delivered. I am the child of God. I am seated together with Christ in the heavenly places. And show the devil his rightful place, that he belongs under your feet. He was defeated some 20, 20 years back by Jesus Christ. This time I want to pray with people here. Anything that you are going through, I promise you the presence of God is here in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Even the bad dreams that you dream, even the things that you go through, which is on the side of darkness, the side of the devil, under the influence of devil, I want to pray with you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Revelations, we, they overcame him by the word of their testimony and by the blood of Jesus Christ. I come against that problem now. I come against the situation. Even if you're going through sickness, I come against it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says he had delivered us from the power of darkness and he had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Whatever you're going through, whatever situation, whatever disease, whatever sickness, I command right now by no ordinary anointing. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Migraine headache. I come against you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, he was beaten four lashes minus one, which means 39 gazetted diseases were dealt with when he was on the cross. The Bible says, and he said, it is finished. He said, it is finished. That cancer, it was finished with. In the mighty name of Jesus, it was dealt with. That migraine headache, it was dealt with. That's HIV and AIDS, it was dealt with. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive your radical change. The Bible says in John chapter 10, verse number 10, the thief cometh not but to steal, to slaughter and to destroy. But Jesus has come that we may have life and have it in abundance. I promise you in the name of Jesus, in the hands of Jesus Christ, there is abundance life. In his hands there is abundant life. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are free. You are free. Keep on speaking positive. Stay in the word of God. Eat the word of God. Eat the word of God. The word that you have in your life is the word that will sustain you. The word that you have never read, the word that is not in your heart, it will never sustain you. It will never cleanse your mind. It will never change your mind. It will never renew your mind. Read the word of God every day. Have the word of God. The Bible says you are sanctified by the word that I've said to you. The word that Jesus spoke to us will cleanse us. It is the soap. That's our soap. It is the soap that delivers us. So the word of God will bring our total and permanent deliverance. 
Continue reading the word of God. Stay in the word of God. Eat the word of God every day and night. Dr. Yuna Good emphasizes that we must have at least four scriptures a day. Read the word of God. Eight scriptures. Twelve scriptures. Read advance in having the word of God. So that demons cannot have a harbor. Cannot have a stronghold in your life. Because a stronghold can be a dark place where demons love to stay in your life. Get out from those internet issues. Get out from those seeing pornography. Get out from those situations. They can invite demons in your life. Get out from wrong association. They can invite demons in your life. Get out from wrong thinking. Think right. You have the word of God. And you stay free from any demonic influence. May the good Lord bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen.